How's it going? Idaho Mountain Warrior here. Um, today I'm going to show you how I uh, do Euro mounts. Um, so that way if you kill an animal and you're wondering how I do it, um, this video here is going to show you exactly how I do a Euro mount. First, what you want to do is when you harvest your animal, it's best to get all the skin off of it and uh, get it into the water and get the process rolling. The longer you wait, the stinkier this gets and the harder it gets to get all the meat off. Um, this buck here was killed by my friend Larry and uh, he wants to do a Euro mount so he asked me if I'd help him out. The first thing that I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to tape up all the burrs to keep the antlers looking brown. If you don't tape them up and you stick them in there and water gets over the edge, it could turn it white. So I don't want it to turn white. I'm going to tape them all up, make sure they look good and then I'm going to get it in the water. Okay, so now I got all the burrs down here on the bottom of the antlers are all taped up. That way hopefully it will stay nice and brown. And now I'm ready to put it in the water. Um, when I put mine in the water I like to let it soak overnight. It helps loosen up the meat. So now I'm going to stick it in water, let it soak overnight, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now the head's been cooking for about, I'd say an hour or so on real low heat. Not boiling the skull, but getting the water nice and hot where you see a few bubbles here and there. I'm gonna lift it out and show you exactly what it looks like. Now you can see that the meat is really starting to come off right now. It's, it's really working good. Got a little bit longer and then uh, it should really start coming off. I'll give you a nice close-up now of how well that's working. Now I'm going to let that hang out in the water for a little while longer here until I see the meat really coming off and then I'm going to take it out and uh, take it down to the car wash and use the car wash to help blow the rest of the meat off. Alright, now I'm all done boiling my school. I came down to the car wash to blow the rest of the meat off. As you can see, the boiling process did a really good job already. But, you will see as I flip it over here, I still do got some meat. I'm going to use the car wash here to help me get that off so I don't have to sit there and scrape on it. Okay, I just now got done blowing it all off. Pulled out here so you can take a peek at it. And uh, yeah, it cleaned up real nice. I'm going to have minimal work here to do with my knife to finish this out. Then I'll let it dry all the way out. And then I will do the whitening process. But that is how I do the boiling part of it. And uh, as you can see, still got my nose bones all in intact. That's an important part. But yep, looks real good. <laughs> 